We have some plans to do some fishing, some hunting. Actually gonna go to Bass Pro Shops. There are some guys here that literally wanna fly fish for bass. We have to watch for rattlesnakes, which is kind of freaky to us, but we don't have rattlesnakes. There's a skunk out there. This is actually my first encounter with a wild, I guess with any skunk. And it's another bluegill. Oh wait, no it's not. Time is of the essence. <laughs> we are fighting the sun. Most Florida girls are not ready for this. Welcome to the Warren Ranch in Santa Ana, Texas. Guys, we flew all the way from Fort Lauderdale this morning to Dallas, had a three hour drive to the Warren Ranch where we are participating in the Hunt Fish Podcast Summit. Super excited to be participating. So any podcasts that we're in from this weekend with fellow outdoorsmen and outdoors women will be linked in the description box. But you guys know we can't go anywhere without getting content for you. So we're definitely gonna be going out of our way to film this for you and take you guys with us on this experience. We're gonna try and get some fishing content. We're on a ranch, guys, so we might be catching some bass. We'll see, but we'll take you with us. My name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Forest Twins. Now, our day didn't start here. It started at four in the morning where we had to get up, get to the airport and fly to Dallas. So let's go check in on us from earlier today. Just left, what was the restaurant called, Emily? Hard Eight. I thought it was Hard Eight. Hard Eight. H hard Eight <laughs> Barbecue. Um, it was right by the airport, so it was a perfect spot for us to stop. It was a recommendation. Recommended from you guys. We asked on our Instagram stories from you guys where we should eat near the airport before we head to the ranch. And a couple of you guys recommended Hard Eight Barbecue. It's right there. We just stopped. Thank you for the recommendation because that was absolutely delicious. And now we are actually going to go to Bass Pro Shops because we have some plans to do some fishing, some hunting. So we need to get ourselves some camo gear because us South Florida girls, our closets have pretty much 0% camo. <laughs> We are now parked in the Bass Pro Shops parking lot. I'm excited to go check it out because they say everything's bigger in Texas. So what better way to check it out than with a Bass Pro Shop? And we can kind of compare it to ours back home. But you guys can see right here, this tube goes yes. all the way to the trunk because we are those people. I will shamelessly be that person that brought my own fishing here. rods and reels and I brought some tackle kind of for kicks and giggles I'm excited to we're gonna go check out what they have here we'll see what's at the ranch I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared and specifically when it comes to rods and reels I wanted my rods and reels All right, Amanda. Yep. It's time to catch some fish. Hopefully we can catch a fish before dinner time, but we have made it obviously to the ranch, the ranch, the lodge. We put our bags in our room. Maybe we should give you like a ranch tour later on um, this place. It's supposed to be amazing. We actually haven't even had a ranch tour ourselves yet. Um, so we, let yes. me just show you guys. Okay. Yes. So because we haven't had a ranch tour yet, we're starting close to home. So that building way over there is the lodge. And you guys can see it's a very short little walk to this dock. And I've already seen some bait in the water. You guys can check it out. We got some, I don't know if you guys can see them. We got some little bait fish in the water. Kind of wish I had a cast net, but we traveled with rods 
in reels. We did. I mean, I think we went above and beyond for that well, reason alone. We traveled with rods and reels because we weren't sure what they were going to have here. And so far, we've learned that they have fly fishing gear because there are some guys here that literally want to fly fish for bass. And we're just exploring freshwater to begin with in the first place. A lot of you guys know that. So the idea of exploring fly fishing at the same time, wow, let's like one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So we brought our gill force rods. We got some tackle. We threw them in a tube, checked them in the plane. It was actually only $30 to check our, tu our tubes not with bad. our rods. So not bad at all. And Emily, let's just let's, let's catch give it bass. a go. Let's give it a go. Wanna go for a walk? Yeah. Me too. No bites at the dock, which I'm kind of bummed because I was kind of thinking we'd save the dock for like last ditch effort if we didn't have anything. Right, so let me anything. just let me just paint over. There's the dock. There's the dock. No bites there. But so we're gonna walk. Yeah, we're gonna go for a walk around. I don't the know pond. if you can see, but like right there. And Amanda, we don't yeah. know how deep this pond is, but she stuck the rod. These are seven foot rods. She put the rod without the reel, like under the water, and you didn't hit bottom, right? It did not reach so it to the bottom. So you know it's more than like six feet deep. So we're gonna go for we're a walk, walk around. Apparently, I wanna go down that way. So let's. Yeah, let's go. But apparently we have to watch for rattlesnakes, which is kind of freaky to us because we don't have rattlesnakes. We have pygmy rattlesnakes. Oh, we do. We just don't have the big ones. All right, All right let's, let's go. go. Okay, guys, Um, pretty random fishing break. There's a bunch of these spider webs on the ground. You can see it's kind of like cobweb looking and there's like a hole in the middle. Now we are new to the Texas area and the Texas wildlife. If any of you local Texans are watching, do you know what kind of spider does this? Like there's a cobweb and a hole. Yeah, but they're like everywhere. But they're everywhere. I mean, we got one here. This was the most obvious one. So I'd love to know, like if I stuck a stick in there, would something crawl out? Emily, you wanna do that? No. Why not? No. Going for a walk around the lake. It's a little windy today. Are there gators? Uh, oh, I know there are gators in Texas. I wanted to go where the, there's like trees in the water. Look at this. It might have been, it was grass. Oh. Dang. Are you sure? No fish at the pond. It was 37 degrees this morning. Mug. Clearly I'm in short sleeves and shorts and you guys know we don't do well in cold weather. So it's, it's weather's a little weird. I think we might have to try another pond. Amanda, it's getting cold. It is getting cold. You can see the puffers came out. This is the puffer The jackets, the, the pants. Actually, this is, I got this puffer in Washington. From, yeah, like, from team a long time, time ago. From forever ago. All right, guys. Pond number two. Pond. So hold on, Amanda. Yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting you. So the blue truck over there is Derek Derek's, York. Derek York. We're going to be on his podcast. We will be on his podcast. He drove us to this pond. Yes. He so, said it's loaded. It's supposed to be loaded. Apparently, like, it's so loaded that if we don't catch one, it's, it's on us. Yeah. So <laughs> this is going to be I think we need to give test. this a try before the sunset. We probably got, like, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, guys. It's it's almost 8. I think it's 8 We got to get on this. It's 8 o'clock, and that's Come the on. sun. Let's go. Where do we go? Oh, there was a bus oh, right there. Bust. Busting, Amanda. Should I use the football jig? Yes, go for it. All right, here we go. Hurry, time is of the essence. <laughs> we are fighting the sun. It's getting cold, us Florida girls are not ready for this. Mm. I'm getting grassed up. Guys, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but there's a skunk out there and everyone's laughing. Okay, the skunk's going away from me. Everybody's over here. The skunk was behind me, but he's going away. This is actually my first encounter with a wild, I guess with any skunk. Did not get skunked tonight. Oh, I... <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I am gonna get skunked tonight because I haven't caught anything. Next morning, same pond, we're at the dock. <laughs> Attempt number three. Number three. To get a bass or a fish at this a point. Fish. Let's a go. fish, let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'm on! <laughs> yeah! I almost just fell into the hole! There we go! <laughs> Yay! Finally! That's a giant bluegill. Is that a bluegill? It is, all right. <laughs> we got a bluegill! We got our fish. We got our fish. So look at this thing. That's nice. a very large bluegill. bluegill. How many casts did we do? It was insane. Hundreds. Hundreds. Hundreds, Hundreds. of casts. Caught them on this Hours later. Rooster tail. Um, just because we saw a bunch of like, I would say like bugs. Yeah, last uh, night. We saw a lot of bugs on, on the water. The surface, so I want something small and then some people are actually fly fishing and someone just caught one on a fly. This looks close to a fly. So I think we did pretty good. We did good. We, we did, did it. We did good. Finally. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's release our first, first catch. fish in Texas. Hold on, very hard to walk. Yes, here. we've got. Why don't you um, go ahead, Amanda? Here we go. <gasps> don't get. <gasps> I think I have to toss him. Okay, give him a Ready? toss. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> did your sock get wet? No, my sock did not get wet, guys. That was a close call. Apparently, this whole yeah. Um, I guess the bank. All the, this muddy is from wild uh, hogs. Hogs. Feral hogs. Wild pigs causing a bunch of problem, a bunch of issues out here. And it almost just gave me a problem too. At least the bluegill on let's keep going. I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's another bluegill. <gasps> you never leave fish. To find fish. What is going on over there? Where is it coming from? Oh, there is a beaver. Sounds like it. Oh man, I just had a bite. Oh, that was the second time. I've had two bites over here, right? I just think they're too, they're too small. You know what I mean? My toes are starting to go numb. Oh, I just had a bite. Yeah. First cast, had a bite. I'm on. Second cast at the new lake. And it's another bluegill. Oh wait, no it's not. Amanda yes. is on a roll. Okay, so using um, the rooster tail. New species for me. Yes, we this have is a green, green sunfish. sunfish. <laughs> Look at that green line under his Honestly, eye. Honestly, he looks like a snapper to me. So you know what's interesting? Yes. You see the green line under his eye? Uh, it's like blue, it looks blue to me. Bluish like. green line. Yes. So we have blue line tile fish, which have blue yes. lines on it, under yes. their eyes. And this one, this is a green sunfish with a green line under yes. its eyes. Yes, and as you might notice, we were at a new lake. Yes. We went for a little walk. Lake, Amanda, pond. pond. And we put some boots on, because earlier- Our I, toes uh, were going numb. Sunk. And Amanda sunk into the- Into the mud. So I put boots on. I also put my long john top on underneath all this, <laughs> because it's- It's chilly. 40 degrees and windy. We found like a nice little pond that's kind of down underneath the wind. Yeah. But it is so windy. So let's go ahead and release this guy. New species for me. Checked it off the list. A lot of firsts in Texas. I'm gonna release this guy. All right, Amanda, place him in the water. I don't know if I can. Go. There he go, goes. Go. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Swims away. I'm on. Oh my gosh. This is not even I'm funny. On. It's another one. It's a little guy. I guess all these guys are little. There we go. Another green sunfish caught on the rooster tail. Okay, Amanda, this is getting a little ridiculous. Um, may I borrow that rod and lure, please? No problem. I have yet to catch my first fish in Texas. No problem. Releasing Amanda's next catch. Swim away, little guy. Put it, there, there he goes. goes. First cast! I did it, Amanda! First fish of Texas. I got the smallest one. Species. Oh no, same species. Same species. 
It's a little smaller. A little smaller. Smallest fish of the trip so far. This is this is a little guy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> yeah. Always appreciate the little guys. Always. Always. First fish in Texas. For Emily. For me. So the skunk is off. The skunk is officially off of us. I don't know. Yeah, that was insane. That was a tough um, first day trying to land something. Seriously. Fish. All right, just there he goes. Nice little guy. Okay. That is going to sum up our first morning in Texas. We finally caught some fish in Texas. We worked hard to get them and you guys watched us do it. I think it's time for some breakfast. We have a day of podcasting ahead of us. Well, we hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.